it's really it, it's really something special now. I mean, you see it's a whole day on ESPN talking about the commits, how this guy's going to change the dynamics of a university, how one guy made this recruiting class that much better, you know, consistently jumping the, ra the rankings of schools when the commits come in and they're waiting for their fax letters and coaches, you know, interviewing, celebrating, expressing disappointment, you know, on live TV when they don't get a recruit. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's... It's good because, you know, I guess it's something you can celebrate as, as an athlete um, to get to that point. But at the same time, I think it's, it, it creates a little too much hype, maybe. You know, you're, get, you're getting guys who are coming out of, out of high school, you know, 17, 18 years old, to, you know, some of the elite college programs. And throughout the recruitment process, because of the, the all-star games, because of the ESPN coverage and the picking the hats and stuff. Almost, I feel like kids nowadays get this this entitlement kind of thing going that, you know, that we're bigger, better. I'm, I'm going to be the man. I'm going to come in and, you know, do everything and you know create recreate this program or take his job. Call out, you know, older guys that are on the team. Um, I think all this the media attention is at times detracts from kids' accomplishments and uh, you know makes them feel a little more entitled. Than, than you know maybe they should be but um, I mean I still think it's, it's a special day it's you know one of my greatest days of my life signing the getting a scholarship or signing that national letter of intent and uh, you know I just think at, at some point you know it becomes damaging when <laughs> when it gets a little too crazy.